sales and marketing at Nokta Mercury Detectors. I wanted to make this quick video before I go home for the weekend um, and give you the good news, basically. First of all, I really hope everybody is doing fine, everybody is safe and healthy. Now, the Simplex Plus update uh, is ready. Uh, it's going to be released within half an hour or an hour or so. As soon as I get done with this video, basically, uh, it's going to be... Um, uploading to our website tonight uh, that's the good news that I wanted to share with you and I wanted to quickly go over some of the features and the advancements made uh, on the simplex plus uh, number one okay now I have to okay an extra level of sensitivity has been added you see that like um, the last level uh, you know with the zigzags, yes, that's level sensitivity, uh, uh, sensitivity level seven, which is, of course, going to bring extra depth to your Simplex Plus, which is already a deep device. Number two, an extra mode has been added, guys. Now, park mode one and park mode two. Park mode two is your current park mode, okay? So the new one that's added is actually park one, uh, which is relatively deeper than the park two, but a bit slower uh, than uh, park two, okay? So this is our new mode. And on the new park one mode, uh, the ID tone breaks are different than the park two mode, okay? So um, on this new park one, uh, uh, IDs between zero to six, uh, 15 will give a low ferris tone. IDs, um, uh, sorry, uh, yes, IDs um, zero t to 16 ferris, 16 to 69, a higher tone, and 70 to 99 for your high pitch for the uh, higher conductors, okay? Another uh, important change we made is we have made some changes to the old metal mode. I know not everybody is using this mode, not everybody is utilizing this mode, but all metal mode has been actually moved to the last spot on the menu. It, it used to be in the first place, now it's in the last spot. And of course, this is not the only change. We have added a threshold setting to the old, old metal mode, okay? Uh, because people who are using the old metal mode were complaining that we cannot, that they couldn't adjust the threshold setting. So we have added the threshold adjustment setting. And so when you're in the old metal mode, I wanna show you guys this, and you press the settings, you see this? This is our new threshold settings. I mean, threshold setting. Okay? Now, another change we made is we added, I don't know if you guys can see this clearly right now, we added a mineralization bar, a mineralization bar indicator on the menu. So, you know, when you're hunting on the field, uh, if there is, um, you know, highly mineralized uh, ground, um, you'll be able to tell, you know, how mineralized uh, mineralized it is by looking at this indicator, okay? Next uh, change. Now, many people have been complaining about the timeout, uh, the duration of the timeout when you guys are in the settings. Uh, many people were saying that it's, oh, it's, you know, it timing out too quickly. I cannot adjust the settings, blah, blah, blah. So now... We have increased the timeout durations, okay, uh, for the settings. But in addition, what we did is we actually added a back function. So once you go in the settings and you're done with the adjustment, mm -hmm. you can actually press the up button and get out. You don't even have to wait for the timeout anymore. We added a back function uh, to the up arrow. So when you're in the settings, if you press the up arrow, you're going to get out and go back to the main menu. Okay. Um, now, another change, uh, advancement actually, ID depths have been increased. So now the device will give IDs 
um, at bigger depths, okay? Uh, another change, this was also a request from the customers. Uh, here we go, brightness, guys. Uh, we used to have only one setting for the automatic brightness. Now we have four, which means you're not only going to adjust your regular, you know, brightness. If you want to use the auto mode, you can also adjust uh, the automatic brightness now with four levels uh uh, of uh, brightness uh, the next one is the manual ground balance function has been expanded guys what does this mean uh, let's say you're receiving a lot of noise uh, you know a lot of chatter and you cannot eliminate it by decreasing your sensitivity now you can actually if you're experiencing this you uh, turn your sensitivity back up and then go to ground balance okay and manually adjust it between 90.1 and 91 one by one and just stop where you you know eliminate the noise but don't forget as you go higher as you get closer to 91 on the manual ground balance setting uh the sensitivity for um some metals will decrease so be careful with that okay uh let me see what else uh there was one more thing i'm trying to remember now okay uh this is about the audio um, some people were complaining that the audio for the wired headphones and the, for the pinpoint mo mode was too loud and was too, you know, popping. So we optimized the sound for that one uh, as well. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the new uh, update. It's going to be on our website very soon. Uh, we're looking forward to receiving your feedbacks. We really uh, tried our best to give you uh what you have been asking for uh i mean of course there were other requests there were other you know wishes but believe me we really did the best we can to give you what you guys want and to give you a better um product uh once again i hope you guys enjoyed the new update uh have a nice weekend stay safe and healthy uh, and uh, all I'm going to say is the uh, best just got better. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.